It's your boy T Money back out with the live reaction, man. If you haven't heard, um, so basically the Tupac Shakur murder case investigation finally has been solved. Um, we got some, you know, live uh, news clips um from a reliable source now you know what i'm saying we got abc news live reporting on this and this is details on you know what i'm saying basically tupac murder case finally getting solved you know what i mean like that up a little bit yeah his murder case finally getting solved so you know what i mean like it's been uh what he was uh he was murdered in the 90s, and it's 2023, and finally, something's come to light, you know what I mean? A lot of people had different thoughts about this, thinking that, you know, the Vegas uh, Police Department or the LAPD uh, had something to do with, you know, covering up a lot of, you know, the case, but they, they said that, you know, they was always on it, you know, they, it just took this long, you know, with all the technology that they have, uh, have now, they didn't have all the technology, man, they, they probably would solve this case, probably, in like a week or two, you know, if this was nowadays, but now, you know, with a lot of, you know, the, you know, gang members, probably either dead, locked up, jailed, probably not snitching, finally have, you know, shine a new light, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, shout out to the family of, uh, you know, Tupac Shakur, a lot of people thought, you know, he uh, faked his death, um, actually, in the chat, Leave in the chat, do you think Tupac faked his own death or you think this is legitimate news where he actually, you know what I'm saying, finally got this, they actually solving this case, man. We're going to get right into this. You feel me? I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to get investigation. Let's go. ABC News is learning more about ah. the target of this week's police search and what they took from his home. Kena Whitworth has the latest on the investigation unsolved for nearly three decades. Shocking new details in the latest investigation of the 1996 unsolved murder of legendary rapper Tupac Shakur. ABC News learning the search warrant executed Monday in Las Vegas was at the home of Dwayne Davis, known as Keefe D, just miles away from where Tupac was gunned down during a drive-by shooting. So if you don't know who Keefe D is, Keefe D went on a lot of different, um, you know, podcasts. He went on Vlad. He in there basically snitching on himself. Yeah, you said now. that Tupac pulled out a gun. It looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. Did you actually see a gun? No, I said once he got the region, I got the ducking. So someone from your car That's what I started was. shooting at Tupac. The car that you were in came up behind Tupac's car. You guys didn't the cars were not facing each other. No, they weren't. You guys got up parallel to them behind them. And you know when you look side at by side. side by side. So how would you even see Tupac reach for anything if you're driving behind him? We weren't driving behind him. We were side by side at the light. Oh, okay. You guys were already side by side. Yeah. What and you said that Tupac pulled out a, a gun. A lot of these people don't know that they snitch on themselves. When they get locked up, man, keep your mouth quiet. You know what I'm saying? Let your lawyer do the talking and don't snitch on yourself or nobody else. You know what I mean? ABC News obtaining this exclusive video of armored vehicles driving down the suburban street just after 10 p.m. Video obtained by TMZ showing a tense standoff outside the home in Henderson, Nevada. According to the warrant, police seized multiple items, including computers, storage devices, notes, photos, and other documentation detailing Keefe D's involvement with the Southside Compton Crips, a well-known L.A. gang. Police also took copies of the book Compton Street Legend, the memoir he wrote, which details what he believes led to Tupac's murder. He claimed in a 2018 documentary series, Death Row Chronicles, that he was in the car. With the shooter you said the shots came from the back who shot Tupac so he's not saying that he was the shooter he said he was in a car with the shooter allegedly when this all went down you know what I mean in Vegas after the Tyson fight 
I'm gonna keep it for the cold of the streets. It just came with a backseat for it. The evidence is Damn. now being presented to a Las Vegas. Agreement. Why he get to cheese in when he said that though? Least... The evidence is now being presented to a Las Vegas grand jury. Uh, cold of the streets. It just came from the back seat. Bro. The Dang, evidence is he now said being cold of the streets. It just came jury. from the back so seat. This is uh, the biggest development in the Tupac murder case since this all happened, since the murder happened. Uh, they never uh, served a search warrant and, you know, showed up at someone's house with the SWAT team back in 1996. So this so is definitely, it can't be overstated happened. how big of a deal this is. Shakur's murder had three all three years, the that'd, be, a that'd be 30 years since the case was, you know, so basically took 27 years to solve this uh, Tupac's murder case. It's crazy. Gang style hit. Tupac was shot multiple times while sitting at a red light near the Las Vegas Strip. The rapper dying several days later. Experts say this latest investigation could shed new light on one of the biggest cold cases in modern pop culture history. I don't think you raid someone's house in something this high profile, knowing full well, you know, the media attention that's going to get, unless you feel pretty strongly. And Diane, no charges have been filed. This warrant was served without incident. One neighbor told me they saw a woman sitting on a curb during the search. Authorities took multiple laptops and iPads and Diane, what they described as a tub of photographs. All right, Kana Whitworth, thank you. And I want to bring in ABC News legal contributor, managing partner at the Cochran firm, Shauna Lloyd, for more on this. Hi, Shauna. So how significant is it to see a search like this in a case this old? Diane, it's quite significant. What we find is that when a search warrant is executed, it's because law enforcement has significant information that they believe can lead to... E so, and also, there's no statute of limitation for a murder charge. So, it don't matter how long you get away. Once, uh, if they can solve it, they're going to solve it. And they're going to prosecute your ass to the fullest of their abilities. Either an indictment or an arrest in a cold case. Now, investigators have long believed that the gunman in this case, whoever shot Tupac, is likely already dead. So why go through all of this? Well, it's still an unsolved crime, and law enforcement is charged with the duty of making sure that they uh, get and arrest everyone that's connected with Man, there you have it, man. Leave in the chat your thoughts on there, you know what I mean? Um, as you know, it's always going to be RIP, you know, Tupac and RIP Big and RIP all the, you know, for our rappers, you know what I'm saying, that uh, had lost their life, you know, trying to out make, you know, better their life, making music, you know, provide for the family, um, you know. So leave in the chat, man. Well, one, what's your favorite Tupac song? Um, and you know what I mean? We're going to leave it like that, man. It's your boy T-Money Makes Bucks with another lit live reaction, man.